Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a what's in my bag video. So I'm thinking you just saw the cogs in my brain uh, swirling around because I decided just now to call it floss tube number four. What's in my bag? So it's going to be helter skelter, but I just want to show you everything because I'm a new stitcher. Uh, I started at the end of October, so I am almost four months in, or just about four months in as a stitcher, cross-stitching, of course. And so without any further ado, um, I want to show you my newest acquisition. It's a stitching bag that I liked. I just got this yesterday, but I stitch a lot in bed when I'm watching television. And this I, sits flat. You can see it has a flat bottom. And I can put my pattern in here and my tools that I'm using for that stitching session that there's three pockets in the back and two pockets on the side. I will link this in. I got this from Fat Quarter Shop, but it's a it's called a it's be in my bonnet company, but I it's stitchy something, but I love it already. I can't wait to start using it more. Um this fabric comes off if you ever needed to wash it, but you know, there you have it. So that's the my newest acquisition. The next thing I'll show you are these mesh canvas bags. You see a big one? And then this is the size that I have more of. And the, this, what I do with these, and I'm sure lots and lots of other stitches do, is I put my projects in the bags. As you can see here. So here's a, small, a project in a smaller bag. And then here's a project in a bigger bag. So that's that's pretty standard. Next thing I'd like to show you is this felt. It's just felt. Pieces of felt that I cut into strips. Yeah, my cutting could be straighter, but it serves its purpose. And the reason for the felt is... I'll show you the next thing on my is with Q snaps. You see how there's a piece of felt in there? With the felt like around your fabric. Let's see if I can show you. I'm gonna take a couple of things off of here real quickly. So as you can see how I've got felt here, it, it keeps this you hear that? keeps it nice and taut. So that's my reasoning for the felt. Uh, and quite honestly, whoops, I'm just trying to undo these magnets. A lot of what you, you're gonna see in this video, either you've already thought of it yourself, or you may guess that somebody told me about. So nothing, I haven't done anything here that's ingenious. It's just the way, okay, I just had it fix that magnet because I want to put this back on. So that's the felt. Now as you saw it's on a Q-snap. So Q-snaps will be the next thing that I mentioned. I don't think I have an empty one in that size but I'll show you. I have an 8 inch Q-snap. I have the 11 by 14 inch Q-snap. And on this pattern here, I have the 11 by 11 Q-snap. So Q-snaps is something very important. Then there's something else that I left in my room, but I see it on the back of here, so I'm going to show you. These little clips, I, I, will, I will link as much as I can in the description below. I'm not putting it on properly, but what, what it's doing is it's helping to keep that fabric folded. But I'm keeping it folded with these as well. And... Uh, I'll jump to that. But these are, are these magnetic silicone cable ties. And here's a new package because I was moving them from project to project and I realized I don't want to do that for the things that I leave on my two steps. I did buy a second one, but they come like this. So there's two of each, two, one, two, then I think there's 10 or 12, but anyway. And what I do is I loop two of them together so that when I put them around my fabric, it's like this. 
So I just hold it up and there you, oh, let's hold it straight up. It, my ruler's on there, which I want to show you that in a minute. So there you have it. And these are very useful. I usually have two or three on uh, a project at a time, which is why I bought the new set. Um, let's see. Oh, what you see on here is my grime guard, which again, you experience stitchers aren't going to find any that's exciting, but anybody that's new to cross stitching or is somebody that's thinking about cross stitching or somebody that it just wants to watch this video, I'm going to show you. So this is a grime guard. This was made by a friend of mine, Danielle. This is for the 11 by 14. And here's another grime guard she made me, which is for 11 by 11 Q-snap. She's made them in several sizes for me, so I'm very thankful for that. Another thing is a little six inch ruler. There are times when I just need a ruler really quick and this comes in very handy and it's also magnetic. So jumping into it being magnetic, I wanna bring something over here. Let's see how I can do this. I can barely do this, so I'm gonna move this back myself a little bit more room so as I mentioned this is magnetic so I can put it right on my little uh, board I'm trying to figure out how to show you this so I have this magnetic board right here and I sorry I have a few things on there I have some needle minders I have a magnet here I have one of those magnetic cable ties and I have the magnetic strips that would hold up your fabric now this I bought when I wasn't aware of pattern paper. I was only using paper and that's why I bought it. What I have it on, and I might as well show it to you, is this is just a little like easel. See that it has all these different positions. And this particular easel is called a reader -er. It's for like if you were reading a book and you didn't want to hold the book in your hand, you would read the book, you would lay the book on here, and this is to, to hold the pages open. So I'm using it for that right now, and I love it. That magnetic board, I also bought this magnifying uh, device. <laughs> and if I was using a paper pattern, you see the red line? I would like pull this down, and the red line would shine through to whatever was on the other side, but it's magnified. So I love that for when I'm using paper. Another thing I'd like to show you is my one and only project bag, a real project bag. Isn't this gorgeous? I plan on trying to buy two per month. Even though I have the canvas ones, I just love this. So I currently have my Just Cross Stitch magazines in there. Uh, let's see, what else can I show you? Okay, I'll show you my two tools for cutting. Who doesn't cut? Snip. Is a pair of scissors, which I just have on this, uh, the, uh, whatever, you, lanyard. So a pair of scissors. But I also have this little tool, and I use this more than anything. And I'm going to show you how, uh, how I keep it. Let's just take, I'll tell you what this wooden thing is in a minute. You see how that's here? I just, uh, obviously I have it flat. I just keep it on in the back right on here. So I'm going to turn it around and that's pretty much where I keep it. It doesn't stab me or anything, but it's always instantly accessible. And now that I have this in my hand, let's talk about this. So what you see here is the eight inch Q snap with the current project that I was working on last night. I was doing this blue. Now this particular project came as a kit. So this blue on this gray is an idea, but I'm just following the pattern. But what you see here is a K, a K, a K stand. I, I might be leaving a word out. I got this on Etsy. I will link it in the description below. It comes with five knobs and these two knobs hold my Q-snap into place. You see it's not moving. This screw here 
keeps me from flipping this, you know, it just helps to stabilize it when I get it in the place that I want it. This helps to uh, adjust the angle of this uh, hue snap. This raises the uh, stand higher or lower, and this just keeps it all together. And also there's a second hole. So depending on where I am at, whether I'm sitting in my recliner lining, lying in bed or here at the drafting table, I can raise it or lower it. But right now I have it in the top spot. So that's that. Who doesn't have a neck light? Yes, love these. Okay, love this I should say, but I love these lights. That's why I said these. Something else I have is this clip-on magnifier. So I'm just going to shut the light off for a minute. So it clips on to just about any surface. I even have clipped it onto my case stand for when I'm working on my Hade and 25 Count Lugana. And this is a magnifier, but it's also a light, as you saw, um, lower and higher. So this is a magnifier cl uh, clip thingy. Again, I'm going to try to link the stuff in the description. I don't know if I'll find everything. Okay, that's my scissors. It's something that I bought that I haven't used yet. It's called a snap, uh, snap, grab it. Oh, snack, snag, nab it. And this is so that like when a, a piece of fat, uh, floss comes through the wrong way into your project, you take this and you push it back in. So I have not yet used this, but that's what that's for. I have these uh, Frixion pens. This is uh, four colors. I've already used up all the red. <laughs> and this is just the blue one, but I, I have these in lots of other colors from another time. Like I have a red and orange one here. But what's nice about these is you can mark on your fabric and either erase with this little eraser here you can erase it with an iron, the heat from the iron, or even a, a heat gun if you have a heat gun. So those are my Frixion pens. Here I have my measuring tape. Okay, You need to measure your fabric before you cut it, and that's what this is. On here I do have a pair of scissors, but I really never use them, but there's my measuring tape. I Let's jump over to this and I'll show you why. For your floss, I have this huge case that I got on Amazon, but I believe at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, it's only $5.99. I paid maybe $12 or $13 for it because I am mostly homebound, but this has all my floss. But what I wanted to show you is I have these smaller ones, okay, and my project's in it. So this is for my hate. So when I kit up, I kit into one of these. Now these are like three or four dollars at Michaels, but I found out if I bought a dozen, I could get them for two something. So I just bought a dozen and I've used all but one, two, three, all but six. So I've used half of them and I still have upcoming projects to kit up. With that, you have your bobbins. This is a package of bobbins and this is a bobbin winder. And I've, you probably have seen this in use. I love it. It helps me because I always bobbinate all of my floss. I bought another magnifying tool. I haven't used them yet, but here's two little magnifiers. I bought this because I'm going to be soon working on 25 count Lugana, or 28 rather. I'm working on 25, but also 28 is coming up. So I bought these, and I saw these on a video, so hopefully they'll come in handy when I pull out those projects. Where do you start when you're working from a corner, like your upper left-hand corner or your upper right-hand corner, the bottom, right or left? Well, this little nice little tool, it's a cross-stitch key. I think I got it from Amazon or 123-stitch. And it shows you how to mark, depending on what size border you want. This goes to two and a half. And if you flip it, it um, now I have it up to three. And so what I like about this is 
uh, let's put it this way. What I like about this, let's say that I was marking it right here. Then I can make a straight line here and here, and that gives me my border. I love this tool. I use it quite often. Okay, who of us doesn't frog? I mean, frog, 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 frog. We hate the frog, but he loves to visit us. So you have a seam ripper. Got to have one of those. Love it. You have a paper fabric and you want to mark your lines, so why not have a nice highlighter to get the job done for you. Here are my needles in a little needle case. I think I got this from Michael's online. It does snap close so that I don't lose my needles. Now, I also have in here these little thingies so that if I want to mark by 10 stitches, I can mark my stitches. So I've got a set of those in there with also my needles. It, oh, I also have a seam ripper, um, excuse me, a needle, a needle threader. I've got this one in here. I have this one on a little piece of magnet, but I have this one on a piece of string. So depending on which I feel like using, I have those. I use those all the time. I'm, I just, I haven't stitched long enough to want to, I mean, uh, stitch long enough to thread more efficiently. I, I, I was trying to figure out how to phrase that. This is an eyebrow, eyebrow, uh, you know, eyebrow brush. But guess what it's good, great for? It's great for removing the lint or uh, the, like when you, when you, frog and you have like the residue of the of the thread you brush this and it cleans it ingenious another seam ripper sometimes i may want to use a mechanical pencil in, instead of a friction pen which easily erases ah another seam ripper then i have some more needles and i just have them in a bag because i don't want to lose them and uh, we at the end of the parade. We are at the end. We are at the end. Okay, so that's it. 17 minutes later, you find out everything that's in my stitching bag. Now, I can't show you my stitching bags because they're magnanimous. Um, but I do want to show you one more thing. So I'm going to shut the video off and restart it in one moment. Well, since I got up to go get something else that I left in my room, I thought I would show you that for the eyebrow brushes, a hundred for like three or four dollars on Amazon. For the little clips to clip your fabric, a hundred for just a few dollars on Amazon in this cute little case. Um, I'm actually, to be honest with you, thinking about putting these in a Ziploc baggie and using this case. Because what I do is like I have a small pouch that I have my smaller items in, but I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking of snagging this, but we'll see. So I just want to show you those two things. I wanted to show you this bag because a lot of us have bought this bag. This is kind of like a diaper caddy or a, a portable bag. And it's full of pockets on the outside and there's plenty of room on the inside. I just have miscellaneous items in here. Um, like I have extra fabric in here and things of that nature. But that's a very useful bag that gets used quite a bit. But this is the, what I got up for. I got up because I wanted to show you this bag. Now, if you use a Q-snap, you want this bag. If you use a hoop, there's a round bag. I'm going to link both of these bags in the description below because I did babysit once at my daughter's house. I've babysit, sit, bab I have babysat since then, but the babies came here. But the one time I went to her house, I was able to put my entire project in here, including my K-stand, my K, my K lap stand. And so you have all the space you need on the inside and you have lots of pockets on the outside you have three on the outside two on that side one on this side you got pockets in there oh my goodness this bag was so useful and it has a shoulder strap and to be able to 
take my pattern with me. I love it. Of course, all of us have different ways of doing things, but that's how I came into the world of cross stitching, and this is everything that I use. I have it's of course it's all over the place right now because I was making the video, but I do have everything in an organized fashion because currently I am binge watching a lot of television shows, so I'm stitching in bed. So I everything is spread out here just for the sake of this video, but I have a system. As a matter of fact, my system is so good that I will have my bed all laid out with my tablets, my stitching, my case stand, my cases, you know, with my uh, floss, my laptop even, and my husband will say I want to go to bed and in less than one minute everything is put away because everything has a place that's something that 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 works for me and so anyway I just wanted to say that even though everything's all over the place right now it doesn't say that way so we're going to call it a day I'm going to string uh, these two little video clips together and see you next time bye bye